Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to kind of have a little bit of a midweek injury update for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers divisional round matchup versus the LA Rams. And I am not alone in this video today. Joining me yet again from the Cannon Fire podcast, it is Evan. Evan, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me on again. Of course. Thanks for being on again. You know, I always joke that, you know, you're basically the co-host uh, of this channel. But but every time I bring you back on, it's it's more and more like that's a real thing, right? But um, listen, Evan, today we are actually going to be talking about a report from Ian Rappaport himself that said, I believe it was earlier today, right? January 19th. Uh, Rappaport was on the Pat McAfee show, and he had said that there is a really good chance that both Tristan Wirfs, Buccaneers All-Pro starting right tackle, and Ryan Jensen, the Buccaneers starting center, are going to play in the Buccaneers divisional round. Evan, what info do you have for us on this situation? Yeah, obviously it's still a wait-and-see thing. Um, it's obviously not confirmed that either player is playing, nor is it confirmed that either player is out. It's, you know, I think the Bucks are optimistic uh, about both players, and I think it truly is going to come down to the wire. I think Rappaport is basically saying that because, one, I think he has an idea of how the Bucks are, are treating the situation and how optimistic they've been. And also it's the playoffs, right? Like if – if this was a regular season game, maybe those guys don't play. But this is do or die at this point. So, um, you know, you want to put your best 22 guys out on that field on Sunday. And, you know, going up against the Rams front without Tristan Wirfs, without Ryan Jensen, I don't really like the Bucks' chances if that were to happen. So I do think both players, you know, the team will be making a push to, to play both players. And I think both players internally, they want to be out there. because They know what's at stake as well. So um, I do think there's going to be a push from both sides to be able to play. But if the Bucks feel they're not 100% ready, they're, they're not going to put them out there to re-injure something, right? right? Like, you have to do what's right. At the end of the day, they're human beings. You have to do what's right by them. But I do think there's going to be a serious push to for both of them to, to suit up on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, that would be, again, doomsday scenario, right? So this is a good update overall, right? You know, saying mm -hmm. that these guys both have a chance to play, I, I think is, is, is good news, right? It's a good update that we got here from Ian Rappaport. Like you said, uh, you know, it's what everybody's been talking about this entire week. If Wirfs and Jensen cannot go, uh, it's going to be potentially Josh Wells against Von Miller and potentially, I guess, Robert Hainsey would slot into that center role and he would mm -hmm. be trying to help contain Aaron Donald, uh, which is, you know, not the easiest job to have in the world. Aaron Donald uh, does, he, I know he plays right end in the uh, Rams defense, but he does go into defensive tackle. Yeah, he moves around, yeah. Right, so it would still be a not great situation to be in. Absolutely not. Um, you know that's well, and you you have Josh Wells dealing with an injury as well, so it's not even a hundred percent Josh Wells. So him right. going up against Von Miller, that's uh, yeah, not not fun. Right, and you know he did have that quad injury. He is still, uh, I believe, he was a limited participant in practice yeah. today, which you know is, leads me to believe he's probably going to be able to suit up against the Rams here in the divisional round. But again, you know, like you said, still Josh Wells going up against Von Miller, not not great situations to have, right? Uh, even with that uh, injury, you know, adding on to the already troubling matchup that would be there. So again, you know, hey, fingers crossed that both Jensen and Wirfs are going to be able to play. Uh, thankfully, now we got a a good update here uh, from Ian Rappaport here on January nineteenth. But again, Evan, uh, you know we're probably not going to get a concrete answer until later on in the week, Friday, probably Saturday, um, at the absolute latest. I mean, heck, it, it might even be you know Sunday, right before the game, whenever we figure out you know like oh. Tristan Wirfs isn't going to be able to play, or, oh, Ryan Jensen isn't going to be able to play. Because, uh, you know, it, it was kind of like what happened with Leonard Fournette, right? Where uh, people really didn't know Fournette was not going to play until really close to game time, right? So I definitely think that there is a chance that a similar situation would happen uh, with that. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's going to come down to the wire. Um, I think there's a, there's a chance that I do think – I think you'll, you'll have an idea – by, by probably Sunday 
but I, I don't think you're going to go into Sunday having no idea what's going to happen. I think, you know, by Saturday, you're going to have a good idea of what's who's going to be in, who's going to be out. Um, but yeah, it, I do think it, it might come down to how both players feel in warmups. It, it really could. And um, obviously, like I said, the Buccaneers are really hoping and um, you know, you're hoping to, to at least, at least get one, right. You got to get at least one. I think that if you're, if you're missing both guys, I, I just don't see how you win this football game, but um, you know, you're, you're hoping to get at least one and you're right. The Buccaneers probably won't know until, you know, Friday, Saturday, probably at the latest, even warm ups on Sunday, an hour before the game starts. So we'll, we'll see, but it will, I do believe come down to the wire and come pretty close to, to game time. And I do want to say um, also, because I know people, we, we've talked about the two main guys, right? The two most important guys that are on that injury list. There are a lot of other names on there. Guys like Levante David, Shaq Barrett, Mike Edwards, Sean Murphy Bunting, uh, Cyril Grayson, and a few other backups listed in there as well. Evan, I think it's pretty much safe to say that a lot of those guys, besides maybe Sean Murphy Bunting, all have a pretty legitimate chance to play. Is that safe to say? Uh, yeah, maybe a guy like Surreal Grayson um, might be a little bit tough to play. Bruce Arians today in his press conference did mention John Brown maybe getting some snaps. So that tells me that maybe Surreal Grayson um, won't play. Who knows? Um, but yeah, today, Wednesday is mostly a walkthrough, and they're just, they're not going to risk Levante David or Shaq Barrett just coming off of these injuries. They're not going to risk them you know, re-injuring something in practice. Like you're just, you're not going to do that this time of year. So they want to take it easy with those guys. Um, Arians did admit that Mike Edwards is playing through an injury and he expects him to continue to do so. So it seems like something that he's going to be able to manage. Uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't really be too concerned. Now, if it starts to be Thursday and Friday and Shaq Barrett and Levante David still seem to be a little bit, you know, hindered by this, then maybe. But I, as far as Wednesday goes, I, I just don't think the Bucks want to take any unnecessary risk right now. Right, so that is, that is understandable too, because again, uh, you know, like you said, you don't want to re-aggravate anything. You don't want these guys to take a step back in terms of their recovery and uh, potentially have them missing, you know, this divisional round matchup. And then also for one more final update here, uh, Leonard Fournette. Right, um, it seemed like he is probably on track to play here in the divisional round. I believe he tweeted as such that he was uh, uh, really working hard in terms of getting ready to play uh, for you know the Buccaneers divisional round matchup. What kind of information do you have on that? Yeah, it sounds like he probably will play. Now, I don't know if he'll be on a snap count or not. Um, as far as the other, other running back goes, Ronald Jones, I have no idea. Like, I would guess not because, like, we haven't heard a single thing um, like about, like, any progress that he's really made. It, it was it was a, obviously a later injury. He injured it versus the Jets, uh, the, the second to last game of the season. It, it's tough to come back from that in a short period of time. So, And, I mean, the Bucks running backs filled in well, so I don't think the Bucks want to rush him back either. Um but as for Fournette, I do think there's a pretty good chance to see him out there. I don't know if he's going to get every single snap at running back because, yet again, you know, you don't want to just throw him right out there to the Wolves, right, coming off an injury, not playing since week 15. So I, I do think you're going to see him out there. I just think it might be on a limited basis. Sure. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We had, you know, a lot of players, right? The Buccaneers are very, very banged up. I mean, they – they have a lot of players that are just dealing with a lot of different types of injuries. It's unfortunate, but you know, it is that time of year. You also throw an extra game into that mix as well, an extra week of practice, and things like this can happen. So uh, what do you think about all of these updates? I think overall, Evan, right, it's, it's more positive updates than negative updates. Is that safe to say? Yeah, it could be much worse. Um, we could be talking in a video right now about how uh, Levante David or Shaq Barrett maybe aren't feeling well and, and this and that and Leonard Fournette still is progressing. We could be talking about a much worse situation here. Um, but nonetheless, the, the two most important people are still, I think those two offensive linemen on the injury report. So just going to have to keep an eye on it this week. Absolutely. So anyway, guys, that's it for these injury updates here for the middle of the week. Let us know your thoughts and opinions about these injury updates down in the comment section below. Also, while you're there, uh, go check out the Can of Fire podcast, Evan's channel. Uh, it will be in the pinned comment down in the comment section below as well. So while you're down there leaving your thoughts and opinions on uh, all these injury updates, go subscribe to the Can of Fire podcast. They just hit 3,000 subscribers. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. So, Evan, I want to thank you again for being on, man. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you to everybody watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, we will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now.
and go Bucks.